Hello everyone. Welcome to NetFlow Analyzer's free training series. This season's free training series is divided into two parts. In the first part, we'll talk about the essentials of bandwidth monitoring and how NetFlow Analyzer and its features can make it fail-proof and streamlined. In the second part, we'll talk about how you can integrate NetFlow Analyzer based on your IT infrastructure. You'll learn about the customization features developed specifically to meet your bandwidth management demands. Let's start with today's session, Bandwidth Monitoring Redefined. In this session, we'll cover how bandwidth monitoring can make a difference to your network, what makes NetFlow Analyzer score over its competitors, and how to carry out smart monitoring with NetFlow Analyzer ensuring your organization's security beyond NTA with NetFlow Analyzer. And we are also going to take a look at the bandwidth management strategies powered by NetFlow reports. The what and why of bandwidth monitoring. In a dynamic IT landscape, as much as network management is given significance, measuring bandwidth usage is not taken into account. The drawback that they automatically face without the right bandwidth monitoring solution can keep them blind-eyed to many performance issues. So why exactly bandwidth monitoring is crucial? Bandwidth monitoring is important to measure the speed and capacity of your network. By knowing aspects that are affecting the performance, such as where most of the internet traffic is coming from, how your network is being used, and by which applications or users you can tackle most challenges in both solving the bandwidth bottlenecks and ensuring your network availability for business critical applications. With knowing the source of bandwidth hogs and learning what the consequences are, you can keep your network optimized to fulfill the requirements. Finally, you can plan the upgrades that are only necessary without purchasing more for every congestion problem. Why NetFlow Analyzer? When you want to start with bandwidth monitoring, there are many solutions available on the market to help you. How you choose those tools such that it saves your time and effort in knowing its nuances and also helps integrate effortlessly is where most tools fail. NetFlow Analyzer in this case has been considered one of the best tools by our customers and here are the reasons why it can be the best solution for your organization too. Flow Analysis is an effective way to get a comprehensive look into your network since it gives you data about what's going on in your network architecture. While packet capture is a great method, since it collects the raw data for records, it can take up more storage that again drain your budget when you get resources. But with Flow, you get information about both ends of the traffic like source and destination, the application, port and protocols, etc. with minimal storage since it represents statistical data. NetFlow Analyzer is a flow-based tool, meaning it makes your monitoring extensive and hazel-free. The greatest challenge with today's global business is performance degradation that comes with its large size and scope. You need to get visibility into all locations all at once and manage any network issues as soon as possible. NetFlow Analyzer helps you monitor the distributed network for its traffic all under a single console. More on this will be discussed towards the end of the session. Scalability is yet another advantage that NetFlow Analyzer offers. Whether yours is a small, mid-sized or large enterprise handling thousands of hundreds of interfaces, NetFlow Analyzer can scale along with your organization and provide end-to-end -end visibility. You can also customize our solution based on monitoring requirements. As we have a legacy in the IT domain, we know how complex these networks have gotten and what it can take for an admin to carry out a proper network monitoring. That's why NetFlow Analyzer comes with add-ons like Configuration Manager and OpUtils. As a flow-based tool, NetFlow Analyzer supports different flow formats like NetFlow, SFlow, JFlow, IPFix, NetStream and AppFlow to provide multi-vendor support. You can also view the traffic of non-flow exporting devices with our agent network packet sensor, which we'll look into the second part of this training series. Lastly, 
How you navigate within the tool is one important aspect to view and comprehend what's happening across your network. While Netflow Analyzer's UI provides insights in an easy to read formats like graphs and charts, you can get a glance at all data you need without hazels and also get to the bits and pieces of your traffic insights with up to one minute granularity. Now it's time we take a look at some of the best features of Netflow Analyzer and the factors that makes it score over its competitors. The features include bandwidth usage and speed, traffic grouping, Cisco AVC monitoring, WLC traffic monitoring, security analytics, NBAR monitoring, IPLCLA monitoring, Medianet and multicast monitoring. Getting started, let's discuss how you carry out bandwidth monitoring with Netflow Analyzer. The first step you need to do is export flow from your devices to Netflow Analyzer. You can do this in three ways such as predefined flow export, custom flow export, and network packet sensor, which we'll discuss in the second part of this training series. For now, I'll show you how you can export flow with predefined flow export and custom flow options. Moving on to the UI. In the Netflow Analyzer UI, you navigate to settings, click on Dis discovery and export flow. And here you can see there are three options, predefined flow export, custom flow export, network packet sensor. Under this, host, you enter the host name Select the SNMP credential. It can be public or public-private. Select the pro protocol, Telnet or SSH. Provide the login name and password. And provide enable password. And click on Next. As you can see in the UI, Netflow Analyzer will run all the tests like ping, SNMP, Telnet, SSH, and help you discover commands. You can verify those commands or edit them based on requirements for your device and confirm the commands by clicking on Export Flow. In case there are no commands for your device found in the predefined flow export, you can utilize the custom flow export. Now, as you can see in the UI, these are the commands for predefined flow export. Now, to enable custom flow export, you provide the host name or the IP address, provide the protocol, and click on Open Terminal. Once you click on the open terminal option, you'll be taken to the terminal where you can type the commands yourself or select the device vendor and NFA will show you the commands that you can copy, paste and edit. Now once the flows are exported, you'll be able to see all the devices and interfaces of your network in Netflow Analyzer under the inventory option. I'll show you this in the UI. When you click on inventory, you can see all the devices, interfaces, groups, and applications that are in the network. And by, by clicking on any device, you'll be able to see the summary, flow details, traffic, interface, the applications, source and destination, the QoS policies applied, the top talkers, AS view, the security, cloud services, users associated, and NCM devices. Apart from devices, you can also monitor the traffic consumed by every other interface right from the summary, traffic, application, source and destination, QoS, conversations, NBAR monitoring, CBQS policies, ASView, 
मल्टीकास्ट मीडिया नेट ए बी सी एंड सिक्योरिटी एप्लीकेशन ट्रैफिक मॉनिटरिंग एप्लीकेशन ट्रैफिक मॉनिटरिंग इज वन ऑफ द सिग्निफिकेंट एडवांटेजेस यू कैन गेट टू नो द बैंड विद यूसेज ऑफ योर नेटवर्क टू बिट्स एंड पीसेस विद नेट फ्रेनलाइजर योर एप्लीकेशन मॉनिटर इज मेड ईजियर एज इट गिवज यूर इनसाइट इन टू बोथ लेयर फोर एंड लेयर सेवन एप्लीकेशन ट्रैफिक इन दू आई यू क्लिक ऑन इन्वेंट्री सेलेक्ट द एप्लीकेशन टैब हियर यू कैन व्यू बोथ लेयर सेवन and layer for applications you can click on any application and see the traffic and the interfaces associated you can see both the traffic and interfaces using the applications and how much of bandwidth has been utilized by them and which application is hogging your bandwidth knowing bandwidth consumption by resource intensive applications that use dynamic ports can help you implement certain policies to block traffic so that your business critical applications don't suffer from insufficient bandwidth moving on with video traffic and highly bandwidth consuming applications being used every day your bandwidth management job is never going to be smooth however with media net monitoring since you can have data on video and voice traffic you can know metrics like jitter packet loss and rtt therefore you can give your users and clients their expected user experience in the ui you click on inventory click on the media net device now as you can see in the ui you can see the traffic jitter rtt packet loss and conversation used by the devices that hogs your network multicast traffic monitoring the multicast traffic monitoring is important since it's highly sensitive to latency and delay consider for example this webinar to maintain smooth performance and to make sure what the receiver receives the information rightly you need to know the how what and who of your bandwidth utilization in the ui you click on the multicast device you can view the multicast traffic based on parameters like volume speed utilization and packets it also shows you the ratio of multicast traffic and overall traffic to help you find if the utilization ratio is good for it to perform optimally and you can get this ratio for every interface in your network ip sla monitoring apart from device traffic monitoring another main feature that netflow analyzer offers you is ip sla monitoring to monitor the health of your network since most organizations have started adopting the remote workforce your network should be of high quality of voip calls video conferencing etc as it is a crucial aspect of productivity overlooking the performance might lead to poor or choppy calls automatically leading to poor user experience with netflow analyzer's ip sla add-on you can monitor voip wan and video traffic and check the availability of your devices and stability of the network one more advantage that ip sla monitoring will give you is you can visualize what the performance of it infrastructure will look like if you introduce more video traffic or voip traffic in your network by this stimulation you'll know if you can implement policies to the existing network or if you want to purchase more bandwidth with voip monitoring you can see the metrics like availability threshold details for rtt mos jitter packet loss latency alarms associated with it etc for wan you can check whether the rtt rtt history availability history alarms notification profiles etc in the ui you can click on the ip sla tab and click on the voip monitoring where you can see the availability 
notification profiles, profiles threshold details, MOS history, positive and negative jitter from destination to source, positive and negative jitter from source to destination, latency history, etc. Though there are tools to help monitoring cloud services, monitoring applications of dynamic ports can be challenging with the increase in today's world. Cisco ABC monitoring will help you overcome this issue by giving you insights into NBAR2 applications, web traffic and URL headcount, the app-centric QS classes and ART monitoring. In the UI, you click on the NBAR2 device. You will see the traffic details for the QS stats and ART for NBAR2 applications with classi classification like clients, packets, server packets, retransmissions, transactions, etc. We can therefore drill down to application level analysis and optimize by applying policies and analyzing the effectiveness. Moving on, wireless traffic monitoring. The wireless traffic monitoring era is not going to stop soon with the IoT services and other wireless devices utilization increasing in the work environment today. Neglecting this can lead to a loss of network performance, affecting your business operations. Netplanalyzer gives you complete visibility and control over your wireless network by providing traffic information on WLCs, access points, SSIDs, and clients. You can also group the access points and SSIDs for better management. We'll discuss what part We'll discuss that part in the second part of this season. Now let's le take a detailed look at the WLC. Under the WLC tab, you can see the different controllers, access points, access point groups, SSID, SSID groups, client IP and client MAC. You can view the traffic and monitor the access points with its SSIDs and client details to decipher if there are any rogue access points. You can also drill down to view the conversations to ensure that your dedicated network is not used by unauthorized clients. You can also view the SSIDs with in and out traffic, the number of access points associated with it, applications used, client using this SSID and QS policies applied. While performance is one benefit you get with Netflow Analyzer's monitoring security is the yet another aspect that Netflow monitoring can provide you that goes beyond traffic analysis. There are three types of security systems that are used predominantly such as intrusion detection system, firewall and network behavior analysis or network behavior anomaly detection. While the first two systems are being considered for security largely, the third one is being ignored by many network admins. This, in turn, gives you way to vulnerabilities like zero-day attacks, internal threats, etc., leaving the network admins lag in terms of having network traffic visibility or accessing policies or security. How does Netflow Analyzer help? Netflow Analyzer has two main features that will help you perform behavior analysis identify and troubleshoot any possible security issues before it disrupts the entire network. The first main feature is Network Forensics Report. And the second feature is Security Module. Many developing organizations encounter traffic spikes occasionally, and this might be misunderstood, just a typical growth sign. But even the traffic spike or bottlenecks can be cause of a security issue. Neglecting these issues can result in a slow network or even device crashing. Without deep visibility into your network and looking to increase the bandwidth capacity every time there is a traffic spike is only going to keep your organization's budget down. Instead of this, it is important that your organization's bandwidth consumption is regularly analyzed for any traffic spikes or anomalies and determine the root cause. With increase in cloud services traffic, your organization can experience both increase in productivity or even hacking attempts. That is why you need a forensic solution. 
Network Forensics is a feature that will provide you with better visibility into your network infrastructure. With this, you will be able to monitor irregularities and spikes that will go unnoticed otherwise. You can carry out in-depth analysis of possible threats and shorten your troubleshooting time. Network Forensics Report is one of the most important features of NetFlow Analyzer. With this feature, you can generate reports that include every bit of the flow information that has been exported from devices. With raw data-based reports, you can view into details like TCP, TCP flags, packets, next hop information, port, protocol, top conversations, DSCPs, and IP addresses. This will help you identify which source is causing the sudden spike and shorten the troubleshooting time. Let me show you how you can generate the forensics report in NetFlow Analyzer. You click on to reports under the NetFlow tab. Click on forensics report. You select the source. It can be interface, access point, or in a cloud interface. Select the time period. Include the business filters and click on generate report. Then you can generate the forensic report for the device or the interfaces, total traffic, application, source, destination traffic, etc. The next feature that will help you largely to maintain the security is the security module. Previously in NetFlow Analyzer, this module was named as ASAM and attacks in the UI which is now renamed as security. Back to the topic, some common threats that organizations face are DDoS, scans, probes, or botnet attacks. With PortScan, an intruder can discover the services running on a target machine and attack vulnerable services and ports. DOS and DDoS attacks can disrupt the target services of the host with huge number of requests, while the botnet can steal data send spam and allow access to the intruder. The only way to evade, evade these attacks is to carefully analyze, record, and study the severity of these attacks, the type and its frequency. Enter NetFlow Analyzer's Network Behavior Analysis tool. NetFlow Analyzer's security module uses the exported NetFlow packets, analyzes them, and gives you reports for network anomalies. It has a specially built continuous stream mining engine which performs network behavior analysis, hence showing you the attacks by sensing them before they lead to a huge network issue. With this, you can detect the internal and external threats, zero-day intrusions, and find extensive incident details, correlation, and reporting. As we have discussed already, the security module is used to analyze the information in the flow and categorizes them as a different security events or anomalies. It identifies the traffic using advanced mining algorithms and categorizes the junk traffic into four problem classes such as suspect flows, bad source or destination, DDoS, and scans and probes. In the UI, under the security tab, you can view all the events such as the problem, offenders, and targets. And here are the four classes listed, suspect flows that captures all problems that fall under this category. With suspect flows, you can find out any problems other than suspicious source or destination IP address. The third cl class is DDoS attacks, where it involves the flooding of hosts with continuous communication requests leading to bandwidth bottleneck. Such attacks on your network are classified under DDoS class. The bad source and destination class covers all the flows that has suspicious source or destination IP address so that you can discover suspect IP addresses or the IP addresses that sends excessive network broadcast. The last one is scans or probes where it classifies threat to vulnerable ports. You can see the different types of attacks listed here with respect to what problem, offenders, the routers affected with time. You can see the top targets 
with traffic source and the problem class, the number of unique connections that have been made, etc. With these details, we can identify which IP is accessing to the network and block or limit their access. Before you access all this data, you need to have enabled the security module flow processing since security module will be disabled by default. We can change this under settings, NetFlow, Security Analytics. Security Analytics contains a set of predefined algorithms for detecting and managing the issues. You can either disable or enable these algorithms and categorize them based on your requirements. Also, you can set thresholds based on severity for every category. Previously, you might have created an alert profile from attacks module, but now it's moved to the general settings and under NetFlow, you click on alert profiles. Here are three profiles, real-time aggregated and security. Under the security tab, you click on add profile where you provide the profile name, description, select the event and define threshold. It can be source IP or destination IP, input interface, output interface, router IP, source port or destination port and define an action and click on save. You can provide details for this course of action so that whenever the threshold is crossed, NetFlow Analyzer will alert you via email or SMS. You can also add any alert profiles to this. NetFlow Analyzer has an extensive type of reports that will provide you with traffic trends as observed over a period. Analyzing the traffic trends can help in pinpointing issues that have been persisting in your network and the report feature of NetFlow Analyzer gives you the advantage of customizing reports to provide you with dedicated insights you want to see. These are some of the reports feature NetFlow Analyzer offers you. We'll look at each one of them now. With search report, you can search for specific details by application, IP addresses, protocols, or host. In the UI, under the report tab, under NetFlow, you can click on search report, where you select the source, it can be in an interface, IP group, interface group, access point, or in a cloud interface. Define a criteria. Define the data, in or out. IP data, provide a time period, and generate report. You can also change the time for go to monitoring. And you can export the report as a PDF or CSV fi file. Compare report. Compare reports will help you compare the traffic patterns for particular source for particular time. For your understanding, let me switch to the UI. Under the report tab, there are two tabs, multiple sources for the same time period or same source for different type periods. You can select an interface, select de devices and set the data points and provide a time period and you can generate report. The next report is consolidated report where you can track top talkers and conversations with complete report. In the UI, you can select the source, traffic type, select the top 10 devices, define a time period, and click on generate report. The next report is an inventory report where you can visualize the combined traffic usage of all interfaces. Under the NetFlow tab, click on Inventory Report. You select the source, the traffic type based on volume, speed, and utilization. Define a criteria. Select the percentile and define a time period. And you click on Generate Report. The next set of reports include percentile report that generate traffic reports by 90th and 95th percentile values for interfaces and IP groups. In the UI, you click on percentile report where you provide the source, select a traffic type, define a time period, and generate report. The next report is geolocation report where you can identify the region-based information 
of source and destination traffic in the UI. Under geolocation report, we select the source, provide the flow type and geolocation based on destination or source and number of records to be processed and the time period and you click on generate report. The other type of report is scheduled report where you can get bandwidth usage reports automatically on daily, weekly and monthly basis. Here you can see all the existing scheduled reports and to add a scheduled report you click on this section where there are different tabs like interface, IP group, interface group, access point, access point group, SSID group, report profiles and other reports. You provide a schedule name and a description, select a report type, can be consolidated, traffic report, application report, source report, source network report or destination report and other reports. Select the report format in which you want it to be generated, either it can be PDF or a CSV file. And select the recurrence details, it can be once, daily, weekly or monthly. Select the time zone and select the period and select the time, time period also. And give the mail notification for this recipients and mail subject and click save. The next report is LAN WAN report where you can track the traffic between your LAN IPs and LAN and WAN. Under reports, NetFlow, you click on LAN WAN report. Under the LAN WAN report, you select the source, either its device or an interface, provide the time period and select the distance of filters and generate the report. We will discuss more about reports like capacity planning, forecast and billing report for the second part. Netflow Analyzer also offers the benefit of distributed monitoring with Enterprise Edition. With distributed monitoring, you will be able to scale and monitor all the globally located data centers. You can have a centralized console to view all the data for monitoring different collectors or different servers, you can click on that particular collector of particular office and view the UI for that server. If you're using the professional edition user and you're scaling your organization and want to utilize distributed monitoring, you can switch to enterprise edition in a single click with NetFlow Analyzer UI instead of going to download again. Here are how you do it in the UI. You click on settings, NetFlow, and under distributed monitoring, you can check the enable distributed mode and type the HTTPS port number and enter the internal collector name. Once you have selected the enable option, please remember that you won't be able to reverse back to the professional edition. Apart from the desktop version, you can now use the NetFlow Analyzer mobile application, which is available in both Android and iOS versions. You can monitor device and interface traffic with classifications like Cisco AVC monitoring, Cisco NBAR monitoring, WLC monitoring, etc. You can also get alarms for any threshold violations, generate and view reports and enhance the performance of your network on the go. As we are nearing the end of this session, let's have a quick recap at the concepts we had discussed so far. We discussed how monitoring bandwidth plays a major part in assessing your network's performance and how NetFlow Analyzer brings an edge to monitoring with automation and security analytics module and how different reports can be a game changer in bandwidth management. If you wish to get more insights about NetFlow Analyzer, please, please feel free to go through these resources or connect with our support team experts who will walk you through. Thank you for joining us today. Have a nice day.